It's the eternal question when it comes to dealing with North Korea between the U.S. and China, which is, what's next? Are we talking sanctions? What are we talking about here? Well, it's a very interesting question. That's really what we're trying to figure out. You know, I think President Trump's tweet caused a lot of alarms, principally because it was written in past tense. Remember, he said that he was going to let China have some time to work with North Korea to try and change its behaviors. And then he went out and tweeted and said they had tried. They had done a good job. And I think that spooked a lot of people, leading to uh, the response that we saw from the Chinese foreign ministry saying, look, we, we have been constructive uh, in, in this relationship and the current spat that we're in right now. Make no mistake, it has been an absolute uh, absolute horrible thing uh, in Washington. Everybody is is outraged in official Washington over the death of Otto mm. Warmbier, a University of Virginia student. And frankly speaking, Betty, uh, there's no amount of we tried that's going to bring Otto Warmbier back. Uh, no, and I, I, I can, uh, you know, I can feel that sort of emotional and visceral response that, you know, this is something different, what happened to Otto uh, uh, clearly with his death. Uh, you know, is changing the game, uh, so to speak, or changing the, the, the relationship and the dynamics. So uh, we know that China, you know, has invited Ivanka and Jared now over to Beijing. Um, you know, what are they going to try to do to, uh, you know, to, to, I guess, alleviate or ameliorate some of these bad feelings that are happening right now? Well, you saw a little bit of softening today from the Defense Secretary, Jim Mattis, uh, who spoke in present tense. It's amazing we're having these grammatical discussions, but spoke in present tense that said China is trying on this stuff. I think that uh, the White House is still looking for uh, outreach to China. Uh, the White House is clearly expecting China to do more. The White House uh, very much appears to think that whatever has happened has not been sufficient to prevent things like Otto Warmbier's death and is looking for more. What that looks like in practice, this is a White House that has been very, very coy about its future options, deliberately so, has made a policy of not telegraphing its next moves. And I know that that's causing some amount of alarm. I've read from my Bloomberg colleagues over in Asia that it certainly is, but I think that may be partially by design.